Welcome to Crossroads Art Center. We are here with the James Liver Art League, and we are here with David Cheatham, who is in charge of exhibitions. And we have Robin Kaspari, who is the juror for the annual judged exhibition. And we're going to hand out the awards. So I'm going to let Robin start talking about what these are, and we're going to zoom in on this one. Well, I wanted to start out. Oh, you wanted to start out? Okay, yeah. go ahead. They explain a little bit about James River Art League. It's an organization of over 130 member artists and throughout Central Virginia. Uh, our goal is to encourage the creation, appreciation of visual arts. We provide our members, artists, with motivation, association, and education through the programs that uh, we provide for the artists, such as the one here at Crossroads. Robin Kaspari is an oil painter living, working, and teaching in <clears throat> Central Virginia. Her paintings hang in prestigious collections throughout the country. Robin's work has been included in national shows and galleries, and she is an active member of the National Impressionist Society. Robin has worked under the tutelage of many masters to develop a unique style that is continually evolving. She uses a combination of traditional and abstract painting approaches to create each piece. And we thank her for judging our show today. Yay! Now. Hi, um, thank you for having me. This show is amazing, and I really wish that there was more awards that I could give out because out of the 50, 56 paintings, Every single one of them had a great quality that is very worthy of a piece of art to hang on your wall. Um, so it was very difficult to whittle it all down. Um, so we will start with our honorable mentions. Um, first honorable mention is Donuts by Gwen Parker. Um, I was just automatically struck with the movement of this piece and her command over the figure. Um, and her command over fabric. I just thought it was lovely to keep a movement, um, so I thought it was worth noting. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're to, oh, yep, yep, put the award on. There we go. Great. <laughs> okay, and this is, uh-oh. Not sure I can pronounce this name. Nancy Markwith? Well, well, yes, I, I can pronounce Nancy Markwith, but Waka Datachi? Oh, <laughs> that's as close as I'm going to get to. Great egret, great egret. Um, I thought that this was a beautiful piece. Um, what really struck me was this edge right here, which is your lightest light to your darkest dark, it's very high, high contrast. And that is a very hard edge to control. Um, yet she still gave it a lot of beautiful edge variety. And then I love down here to okay. soften this whole bottom area. Um, it's very rare that you see somebody use actual hatching of color to soften an edge. And I thought she, the, the technique here was brilliantly done. Um, and I also loved her color command. This brighter green comes forward, and then even though this is the same green, she was able to push that back and make it a little dimmer and duller. Um, but just a, a great piece overall. So, great. job well done. All right. All right. And next is... <laughs> yep. Um, I thought this was a, a lovely piece. Um, this is... Fiona by Tim White. Um, the first thing that is just lovely to look at with this piece is there's so much shape variety here and there's also a lot of nice areas for the eye to rest. So you've got great nice resting areas and then you've got a really detailed area with lots of small shapes and interesting things. Um, you know, just keep in mind, if this whole area, the whole painting was covered with this busyness, it would just be very hard to look at. So I thought the artist did a great job by giving my eyes some nice resting areas. Um, and the command of value here was, was exquisite. 
I'm not going to put this one on yet. It's a little small. All right, and this is Treehouse in the Garden by Lois Shipley. Um, awesome little piece. I thought that her, I love to see texture variety. So here in the foreground, there's some lovely thick texture. And then pushed back into the background, it gets thinner. Um, so you can really get that feeling of in the foreground, committing to the background. Um, she has some nice, bold actions of contrast in here. Um, a great mid-key, and um, all of her shapes are interesting and different from one another. I thought it was a great, great little painting. Right. Hold off on this one as well. Okay, um, this is Into the Light by Janine Orr. Um, this is a very hard key. Um, you've got white going all the way over into black. Um, it's a, a, a low major key, very hard to execute, so I was very impressed by that. She's got the um, major key going in the background, but she's also got the major key going in the foreground, so she had to really juxtapose everything. Um, and then I also love this flat area, gives your eye somewhere to rest, and then there's a lot of busyness up top, and a lot of great texture going on here as well. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, this is Catherine Spots and Springfield Back Creek. Um, I just thought this piece showed great control of value, great control of color, a great understanding of aerial perspective. Um, and on a cloudy day, it is so difficult to be able to manage distance, values. There's, there's so much here that she was able to control. Um, and she makes it look so easy, but it's not. So great <laughs> job here. Okay. Um, this is Renee Gleason and Roses in a Silver Pitcher. Um, I love this painting. Even though it's a still life, it has got so much movement, so much expression. Um, every rose, even though they're all very similar shapes, every single rose is a different shape. Great shape variety. Within every rose, there's also some some thinner paint, there's thicker paint. It's very exciting to look at. Um, it's just a great mid-major key. So, um, beautiful piece. I just thought it was done very well. All right. <laughs> the Dustin Show. If you'll follow me. All right, and this is uh, Nancy Foley and ladies luncheon this one first prize because it's very interesting to look at you don't see this subject matter very often at all um, again you've got a lot of busyness up here a lot of very interesting variety and shapes and then you've got this nice area to let your eye rest um, it's very important you've also got high contrast which is very hard to pull off very dark key, very light key. So I would say this is a high major key. Um, these wine glasses, very easy to repeat boring, boring shapes, but every single wine glass is a little bit of a different shape. Um, and then technically speaking, this is just technically very well done. Um, so congratulations. Okay. All right, thank you. And we want to thank the James River Art League for, for participating. And thank you again, Robin. And actually, Robin also shows at Crossroads Art Center. So you can come in and see the show and also see her work. So congrats. Join us Friday for the Facebook Live.